Nathan asks, yeah, how much power do I usually run on POTA? Uh, 50 watts is what I usually set my FT891 to if I'm running. And that's, I don't, I, I seldom go higher than that. I find 50 watts is a nice trade-off between um, uh, getting getting a signal out there and battery life. So, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll cut, that's why I cut the power back a little bit. QRP, you know, five watts. So that's, yeah. you know, a factor of 10. Um, which can right. you know, which can make a difference to your signal, but with a good antenna, it's 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 crazy. Some people don't even rec you know don't even notice the difference between five watts and fifty watts if you've got a right right. It's rare that you're ever a five seven to begin with with your activating yeah. portable. Yep. Um, yep. So, yep. So it yeah, some... I, you know, but again, fifty the difference between fifty watts and hundred watts really isn't that much. But in terms of battery life, it's huge. I yeah. Mean, oh, definitely. Crazy. That's between like a 20 watts or 20 amps and like 10 amps. You're pulling that transmit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Flatlander says, yeah, it's great for hiking into the woods. That's yeah. what I love about my little, the 817 is it's so packable. You, you know, it's, if you want to go out, you know, if you want to throw everything in a bag and walk out to a picnic table, or if you want to walk to the woods, um, you know, a QRP radio is, is, is the way to go. Uh, another thing to consider, you know, electromagnetic mischief says, you know, 20 watts is only, you know, 1.1 S units down from six from 100 watts. So exactly an S unit uh, on most scales, an S unit, each increase of an S unit is usually a six dB jump. So uh, so if you cut your if you cut your power in half from 100 to 50 watts, that's 3 dB. From mm -hmm. 50 to 20-ish watts, that's another 3 dB, dB. So, you know, 6 dB or um, one S unit. Yeah. Um, if you're if you're putting out an S9 signal, well, you're going to be S7, you know, so it's, um, or S8. Yeah. So Yeah, not a, not a big change there. No. Nope. Um, yeah, Nathan's response there, he tuned the flagpole with an ad alligator clip on his G90. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Nathan, I know where there's a potato masher that we'd like to see tuned up. <laughs> Just saying. A couple guys got a crazy idea. Yeah, those G90 <laughs> tuners, I evidently they will um they're really, really forgiving. So it's um tuna wet noodle? Yeah, tuna wet noodle. So it's um or a moderately damp noodle. <laughs> mm -hmm. Moderately damp noodle. So hey, you know the um the the Lutheran Church over by you is um, getting a cell tower, um, oh, the one really? on Sixth Street. Yeah. Okay. They used to have a they used to have a cell tower. There used to be a cell site um, at that concrete plant that was behind the church, but since the plant changed ownership, they got to move the tower. So okay. they're leasing space behind the church, and they're going to put up a cell site. Uh, and uh, in order to disguise it, it's going to be shaped like a pine tree. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> that's interesting. So the downfall for that location in Wausau is that it's in a hole. And it's like right yep. at the river level. So yep. even yep. if it's 100, 150 feet, it's still not really going to get very high up over the, the ridge. Uh, so it, that's just going to be fill-in coverage inside the city of Wausau. It's it it is a it is a it's it's considered a fill-in site. So yeah. it's yeah, that's not one of their primary cell sites, but it's a fill-in for AT and T. So they still need they still need the the equipment there, but um, yeah, in order to minimize its impact, it's gonna it's gonna be um, sort of I don't I guess what, what would you call it um, uh, camouflaged. So. <laughs> <laughs> The Mossy Oak cell site. They'll do anything in Mossy Oak for an extra 20 bucks. Yep, yep. <laughs> I should have pulled up, I should have pulled up the plan commission notes. I probably could have found some pictures of that. So <laughs> I mean, I've seen them disguised as flagpoles before, but I've never seen mm -hmm. them disguised as a pine tree. There's one over in um in Door County in Bailey's Harbor is dis disguised as a tree, and it's the ugliest tree you've ever seen. So it's well, like it's sticks, right because it's not a tree. <laughs> yeah, it sticks out like a sore thumb. So oh, <laughs> see if I can find a picture of it. If you uh, think your guys' antennas are ugly, <laughs> take a look at this. Okay. Yeah, make sure you click on the right picture there, Michael. We don't. There we go. Neighbor complains about mono pine monstrosity in Bailey's Harbor. 
Oh my <laughs> lord. <laughs> See if they got a better picture of it. Oh come on. We gotta get a better picture. But um that is ham sexy. That is. Here's a better one. <laughs> It doesn't even blend in. It just sticks out like in the middle of nowhere. No, yeah, it does. It does. Absolutely. You might as well just put a cell tower there. At least uh, you know what it was. Oh, that's stupid. Yeah, that is absolutely stupid. Let's see if we get a another. Come on. Oh, yeah. It's like the picture. Off there. The top too. there it is. Yeah. Like you could, you could have like at least, you know, fill off the top a little bit more. <laughs> Isn't it? Wow. <laughs> it was oh, an man. ugly. <laughs> <laughs> hey, could you see him commissioning it? Starting up, joy to the world. <laughs> At Christmas, put lights up on it. Come on, oh. that would be awesome. <laughs> They have them disguised as palm trees in Phoenix. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Could you imagine if they got screwed up and they shipped a palm tree one up here and yeah. what it would look like? So I'm looking forward to, I'm looking forward to Wausau's new monopine coming soon. Monopine. <laughs> Can I get one for 40 meters? <laughs> be a nice vertical, wouldn't it? <laughs> it would be. Look at that. That'd be like a... That'd be like an 80 meter half wave right there, I bet. Yeah, yeah. Run some wire up of that. So. Yeah. Andrew the Charlie Brown tree. <laughs> Wrap oh. it up with a little blanket. <laughs> I don't think that's going <laughs> to uh, help it at all. <laughs> that's more like one of those aluminum trees. Oh. <laughs> Charlie Brown tree. <laughs> Interesting enough, so the aluminum Christmas tree actually came from Manitowoc, Wisconsin. Yes, it did. It's yeah. a home, yeah, Wisconsin's a home of the um, yeah the the shiny aluminum Christmas tree, and maybe oh, painted pink. Oh, woodpecker nightmare! <laughs> thing <there>. made. <laughs> Poor woodpecker got hit with fifty watts, and no one got him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We should have. We probably should have saved that for ham sexy. But <laughs> oh man, that in itself is pretty good. Stick around at the eight o'clock hour. We're gonna we got another ham sexy coming up, so it's um, you're not gonna want to miss. I've been told this picture is just <laughs> phenomenal. Phenomenal. <laughs> KB9 VBR antennas are simple, effective, and affordable VHF and UHF antennas for amateur radio, MERS, public safety, and GMRS. Made in the USA with quality parts. Get yours online at jpole-antenna.com.